happy to gather again this morning in his presence, which we know is not because we are better than anyone who slept the sleep of death. No, we are righteous than them, holier than them. But the mercy of God have done this for you and I. And we say in the name of God we praise in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. So at the time like this, brethren, let us pray. Eternal and everlasting Father, we thank you because you are the one who have made this day to be. It's not because of our righteousness at all. The mercy have done this. We are grateful, Daddy Jesus, for you have allowed us to gather in your presence. Be thou exalted, O God, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And so, Father, in heaven, as you know, I make clear in your hands. I know nothing. So, Father, I decree that you increase. I step out and you step in. I step down and you step up and take over the puppy to speak to me and your children so that at the end we will be blessed because if man speak, no one will be blessed. But if you speak, all of us will be blessed. Is there any sins you are seeing me or in the life of that sister, that brother? Lord, I bring all our sins to before you. Forgive us all our sins and cleanse us with your precious blood and made us whole before you right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 So, Father, every arrow, every agent of the wicked, I cripple them in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And I combine the eyes of those wicked ones to be blindfolded and their hands wither by the authority that is in the name of Jesus Christ. And so be it, because we know who we believe. Be thou exalted, O God, for in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. In the book of Luke, Chapter 9, verse 20, verse 90, uh, 62. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. And the Bible tells me and you, and said, And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his arm to the plow, and looking back his feet for the kingdom of God. By the special grace of God, the Lord himself, which I know, he have a word of encouragement for me this morning. And I believe he also is, is also extending it to you. And I pray his name will be praised in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. So by the special grace of God, we see where we read. He make us to understand something that we must know. The Bible makes us understand it's only those that endure to the end shall, shall be saved. So, therefore, this morning, the Lord is telling me, telling me, and you right now, you that sister, you that brother, that have placed his hand up already, you have already decided to follow Christ. He's encouraging me now because of the better hope ahead. There is no what you are not fit. I am not fit if I should look back, especially at a time like this. And that is why the topic before me and you this morning says, let nothing change you. The change we are talking about, as we read in that book of Luke, saying, those that already decide to follow Christ and later go back, they are not fit before. That is why they go back. That is why they went back. So let not it change you from who you are in the Lord. 
let not it change your identity of Christian to unbeliever. Let no situation drive you away from the narrow way to the blood way. Let nothing make you to say this God is a wicked God. Because nothing of this war or in another haste, we who have decided to follow Christ, we are not longer of this war. We are just a, what a visitor. We are not God's home. This is not our home. We are in a foreign land. The world we are, every true believer, are living in a foreign land. That is one thing you and I must know. Every true believer are in a foreign land who have it in mind to go back home one day to their respective land. And why is the where is the 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 the, the, the real place of every true believer? Where is the real country of every true believer? Where is the biological country of every each believer? Is heaven. And that is why the Lord is saying to me and you this morning, if you have decided, you have already carried the cross, there's no need of doing what's dropping it. Because if you try or you do drop it, it means you were not even fit before. I don't know. The Bible tells us in the book of Daniel. We read in some place in the Bible whereby it said, He that is holy still, let him what remain holy. He that is righteous, let him remain righteous. He that is pure, let him or her remain pure. That is what the Lord is telling me now. Let nothing change my, change my identity. Let nothing change your identity. You are already a child of God. You are already a born again. Let no situation, let no condition, no matter what the case may be, you must remain who you are in the Lord. Why? Because this is not our place. We are just what passing by. Every true believer is a visitor in this world. A visitor must be dealt with as they like. A visitor must be treated by any by the by the citizen of that country. That is why you and I need not to cry when those that do not know Christ is is doing you as the as they like. That is why you don't need to feel pain when the citizens of this world are troubling you. I insult you. Because when you get to your respected home, they have no power over you. And you are the one that has the better place. Look at what David uh, Daniel said in the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 18. I mean, verse 8. Daniel, chapter 1, verse 8. We see who Daniel was. But when he got to a land full of idols, a land where they never call God. A land where God is forgotten. A land where nobody knows that they have a maker in heaven. What did they do? What did they do? He said something. That he said in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defy himself with the portion of the king's meat. No, with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the priest of the Enoch that he might not what defy himself. This is who the Lord is. This is what the Lord is telling me this morning. Have I already carrying the cross? 
I must not allow situation to, 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 to make me to drop it. Daniel know fully that what he was requesting for is a hard thing. You can find that that is why you, the, the, the person he was talking to, uh, do you want to sack me of what you are doing? Um, Dalian, because he, he, he already stand in his God, that nothing must change him. He keep on pressing until the man have to obey him. Let situation obey you, uh, brethren. The Lord is telling me, let evil death obey me. Let condition obey me. Condition, I know you are here, but I, you came late. Let that condition, that situation, that your wife, husband, that have let you, let him know that he came late. He started late. Because why? You have already made a conclusion with your God. That is what Dalia was telling this person. No, no, no. You, the, the, the boy was telling Dalia, no, you must, you don't sack me. You want to be lean? You keep on pressing. This one you are telling me now. Oh, oh, this man. You, you came late. You didn't start on time. You would have been the one to first of all to come to me and tell me, not now that I have already come to you. And what happened? He had to do what? He had to abide to the voice of what? Of Dalian. So the Lord is telling me, let that situation abide to your word. Let that condition obey your word, not you obey him. Because why? It came late. Sister, no matter what you are passing through, brother, no matter what you are passing through, I want you to know that it does, don't need to change you. Do you know why? He came late. He do not arrive at, uh, at uh, his flight was delayed. Tell him you already make up your mind to follow this Christ. That is what the Lord is telling me and you this morning. Let nothing change you. Let no condition, no situation change you. Because when you get to your home, you will see what the Lord has prepared for you. Because if you're giving up, you're giving up a, something that nothing in this world can provide for you. The Lord is telling me, let nothing change you. In the book of Genesis 33, I mean 39, let's see what happened in verse 7 to verse 9. Genesis chapter 39, 7 to, to 39. And the Bible tells me and you in that place, a bat who, a bat are not that man who look like what Joseph. He said in verse 7, and it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph and she said, Lie with me. In verse 8, but he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master what not what is what is with me in this in the house. And he had committed all that is he had to my hand. There is no greater in this house than I. Neither had he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Joseph was trying to tell this woman. This is not how my father taught me. What you are telling me to do now is not how Jacob taught me. This is not how Jacob brought me up. So I must not say because Jacob, my father, is not here now, I should go ahead and forgot his teaching. No, no. You that enjoyment, I am. You came late. What the Lord is telling me now, that every situation that came to you, or that comes to you as a born again that you are, let him know 
that he came late. He did not come on time. He would have been the first one to come before you got born again. Not now that you have already carried the cross. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no, I cannot do this wicked thing. It's wickedness before the eyes of God. You would have come during when my father had not instructed me. During when my father has not taught teach me the way of the law. None that now that he has taught me the way of the law. You not came, I, you came late. I cannot do this wickedness. That situation in your life, that condition in your life. I want you to know that he arrived late, sister. Brother, he arrived late. I know it's difficult, but you must be here. Why? Because you have a better place. That is only though that pass through the pain can enter. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Daniel chapter 3, See what the, the, the children of God also make us understand that I must not something you must not allow whatever condition you find yourself, you must not drop your cross, you must not change. This is not your home. It doesn't matter whether it's by whether it's dead that is that is that is pointing at me. As far as I know my God, I must not change. That is why these these people in that book of Daniel, Daniel chapter three fifteen, because of uh, 15, let's read fifteen to uh, uh, to twenty three. Daniel chapter three. The Bible tells me, now if ye be ready that that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, socket, sub boot, sentry, and a duke, duke singer, and all kinds of music. Ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Where? But if ye worship not, ye shall be cast, cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fury furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? 15. Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, I paraphrase. You came late. I have already been instructed of how to please my God. I have already been instructed of who to bow down for. Situation, you this condition. Oh, are you, are you dead? Oh, you want to kill me because I am naming the name of Christ. Oh, you came late. And he said, we are not careful. Tell that situation. You are not careful to answer thee. We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. You are telling me not to bow down for another God when I'm already having a true God bowing down for. No, no, no. In verse 17, if it, if it be so, our God will, will we serve is able to deliver us from the body full of fitness, and he will deliver us out of the hand, O king. Listen. Let's see what they said in 18. But if not, situation, if not, condition, if not, oh, my husband, you are going, if not, oh, my wife, you want to abandon me because of my Christianity. If not, my children, you are going because I said I I, I is, is the Lord Jesus Christ I will serve. If not, whether you are going, I want you to know my husband. I want you to know my wife. I want you to know situation. I want you to know document. I have been searching for you for how many years? I want you to know you that you died that I have been looking for for 20 years. You are not forthcoming. I want you to know, oh, oh, but it it no unto thee, O king, that we will not say that God, nor was he the God the image we thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his vo voice 
was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore, he speak and commanded that they to hit the furnace once seven times more than it was went to be hit. You see, nothing, okay, we, if you cannot change me again, I have been taught that nothing should change me. Nothing should take me away from this great God. Nothing should make me to abandon this God who do not abandon me by giving me salvation. Is it everybody that have this salvation that we have? It's not. Me and you are privileged. You and I are privileged to have this salvation. Not everybody have it. For example, those that are born in Muslim, die in Muslim, have no privilege. You are privileged. You and I are privileged. Oh, King, don't you know we are privileged that Christ gave all this salvation? He gave me this cross to carry. Oh, I, I can, and we are not careful to answer you. If you like, go and hit the fire hundred times. It's no longer my business. And these people, after the whole thing, what happened? Despite the, they knew that the fire is a creed, they never denied their God. They were still going in their presence, they tied their hand and everything. See, they see how they were putting them inside. They say, whether you are putting us, there is no longer my business. Nothing. We already decided that nothing should change us. You came late. Every situation, you that fire that is being said before me, you what you came late. Nebuchadnezzar, you, you can even see if you read further, you will see that the people that even go now to to to, to place these people into that fire, they die in the just of the heat of the fire. But these people never care, they never mind, they have already they have already decide that they are no long, they are not going to look back. Why are you looking back now? Don't you know the Lord want to want you to be the next Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego of this time? Don't you know the Lord is saying, My soul Samson, I made you to be the Shadrach of this time. So therefore, let nothing change you. Let nothing change you. No matter what you are passing through, the Lord is saying, look unto me and look unto the hope that is ahead of you. Look unto the glory that I have set ahead of you. Don't look at what is around you, but look unto me, the author, the finisher of your faith. That is what the Lord is telling me and you. Let not the sister change you. I don't know who the Lord is talking to, but in the first place, I know God is talking to me. But I don't know the next person who the message also belongs to, as it belongs to me. The Lord is saying, we should not allow anything to change us. Look at another man in the Bible. The book of Job, chapter 27, verse 4 to 6. Job 27, Four to six. The Bible tells me and you, Job 27, four to six. My lips shall not speak wickedness, nor my tongue utter deceit. For God, God forbid that I should justify you till I die. I will not remove my integrity from me. My righteousness I hold fast. I will not let it go. My heart shall not reproach me so, so long as I live. 27, I mean verse 7. Let my eye, my enemy, let my enemy be as the wicked. And he that raised up, up against me as the, up, as the unrighteousness, as the unrighteous. Look at that verse, 20, that verse 6. The Lord is looking for another job again. Who is that person that, want to, that, that is ready to be? Because the Lord is saying, I am looking for another job. 
who will not allow anything to change them, who will not allow anything to take away their righteousness, who will not allow anything to take away their holiness, no matter the condition that comes their way, no matter the situation. I come again with that verse 5 and see. It says, For God, I mean, God forbid that I should justify you till I die. I will not, not remove my integrity from me. I will not remove my cross from me. I will hold them to my cross, even though the earth, everybody run away. I'm not the one living alone in the whole city. Nothing should change me. In verse 6, my righteousness, I hold fast, sister. Hold fast your righteousness. That is what the Lord is saying. Are you a righteous person? Hold on to that your righteousness. Are you a holy man, holy woman? Hold on to that your holiness. And will not let it go. Don't let your holiness and your righteousness go. Don't let your born again go. That is what the Lord is saying. Don't let this anything change you from righteous person to unrighteous person. The Lord is looking for another job. Ah, my ready something to be another job. My heart shall not reproach me so long as I live. Sister, can you hear that? That is a man that was born like me and you. Why is your case? Or oh, will your case be different? Remember the book of uh, the book of Hebrew, chapter 12. Don't let that place stand against you. We must walk and not to allow that place to stand against you in verse 1. He said, We are what we are surrendered by do, by many different weaknesses. That is to say, the condition you and I are into, the, there are people who are in heaven now that theirs are more than our own 20 times. 100 times. So if you not give up, that is the weakness that we say. Sister, this thing that, that pull you down, that make you to drop the cross. I, uh, I was also in it too, but I bear it. Why you, why, did, why you did not bear your own? That is the weaknesses. So if you know, I, I normally say this by the grace of God, if I know that and there's no situation I have passed through that is off to do what Job passed through. I must carry my cross continually. All through my life, if I know that the condition I have passed through all through my life now till now is more than the one Job faced in a day, I should drop the cross. But if I know that it's not, there's no need to drop the cross. I believe somebody understands this. If you know the condition, the thing that are around you is no more than what you passed through just in a day. So you have no reason to drop your cross. You have no reason to allow anything to change you, sister. You have no reason to allow anything to change you, brother. Because there are many weaknesses around you. They are radiating you. So no way of escape. So the Lord is saying, move on. Move on. And I know the Lord will give me and you the grace to finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Amen. Amen. And the Bible also tells me in, in the book of Job, chapter 2, because of time, you, you can, if you have the time, you can read from verse 3 to 10. We see how the Job's wife, ten, I, I, I will quickly read only the, the verse uh, 9 and 10. Job chapter 2, let us read 9 and 10. They said his wife unto him, Though thou still retain thy integrity, cause God and die, but he said unto her, Why do you, I am paraphrasing now, why do you want me to change now? You are a wicked woman, so you want me to drop my cross now that I'll be carrying. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans that the time we are now, the night is where is is fast paced. The time we are now is very close. Is it now that you that the rapture want to take place, or that I'm about to be glorified? You want me to give up and just say, but he said unto her, "Thou speakest as one of the foolish women. Speaketh what 
Shall we receive good at the, at the heart of God? And shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sing with his lips. Why do you want to sing with your lips now? Because of that situation. When a man who we are giving birth to like you refused to alter anything else. And it's not. If your situation, I say it again, if, sorry, if your situation is more than what you passed through, go and drop your cross. So. But if it's not, go and tie your cross to yourself the more. Look for more rope to tie them to yourself. Look for more rope. If it is chain, look if it, the rope is not to is 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 not going to hold it. I should look for more chain, chain, and chain it to myself. If I know my situation is not up to that of Job, I should chain the the cross and be, I'll be carrying more to myself. But if it's not, I should drop the cross. I pray that none of us will drop the cross in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because of time, I give us, I encourage myself and you with this word. The Bible tells me and you, in the book of John 6, Peter said, To whom shall we go when the Lord Jesus Christ asked them, Are you also going away? Because of the truth I have told them that they have let me, what about you? Are you also going away? And Peter said, To whom shall we go? When you are the world of eternal life. Sister, there is no other place better than Christ, no matter what you are passing through. No matter that situation, to whom shall you go? When the Lord Jesus Christ is the only Savior, the only way to eternal life. So, let nothing change you. So, as I said, to encourage myself and you, let's quickly read the, the book of Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. I want us to quickly read uh, verse 13. I mean, uh, 17 to 18. Romans chapter 8, 17 to 18. And if oh. children... Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm reading Jesus now. And okay. if children, then has heads of God and joint heads with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together, 18. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory of which shall be revealed in us. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Mary. Jesus' name. Amen. I believe the Lord has given me a word that I should hold on to. In that verse 18, he said, For I reckon that the suffering that you are in tonight, sister, brother, of this present time, are not worthy to be what? To be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. What else do we need? All we need is to ask God for grace. All we need is to ask him for assistance. I know you may say, ah, this one, yes, I know it's not easy, but the grace of God is there. If God could help Paul and all other apostles, he can also help me and you too. If we ask for the grace. Thank God last time, last Sunday, a week now, he told us what to do. That we should ask for the grace. Ask for the power. That when we are going out, we should, take, we should commit ourselves to him. When our children are going, Commit, oh God, my children are going to school. I give them to you. That it was instruction from the Almighty God Himself. So, therefore, let us continue to apply it because it's God that never lies. So, the grace is there to carry us on. The Lord will help me and you to be able to finish well. But it's, Remember, he said, nothing that you are passing through now is what is worthy to be compared to what he has for you and I in heaven. Let's look to that promise. Let us look to that promise and do what? And hold on to the cross. 
Don't give up. Because your Redeemer, leave it. And the Lord will help me. Lord will help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As I said before, it's a word of encouragement for myself and for you. Because the Lord knows every situation of every man. And he has come to strengthen me and you. So I have no reason to give up. So you have no reason to. The Lord will strengthen you and strengthen me in Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen. So I want you to pray. I want us to talk to God. I say, Father, I have heard your word. Anywhere I have been allowing situation to weigh me down. Ah, many of us have left our place of work because of situation. Many of us have abandoned evangelism because of situation. Many of us have abandoned prayer, abandoned fasting, the thing we used to do for God. Because of condition, you have no excuse. Sister, go back to your work. Oh, brother, go back to your work. The Lord take delight in it. Don't give up. Take God, Father, anywhere I'm thinking of withdrawing back, or I've already even given up, or I'm just only busybody now. Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me. Anywhere I have allowed, I, for 10 years, 20 years, I'll be looking for document. It's not forthcoming. And you are not accusing God. Thank God you are sorry. Oh, you have been looking for children. It's not forthcoming. Looking for wife, husband, it's not forthcoming. And you are thinking of giving up. Oh, my husband, I've gone for how long? Praying that he will come. It's not forthcoming. You have started giving having double mind. Thank God you are sorry. Because no matter what, your case is not worse. It's not off to that of Job. It's not off to that phony fire that Meshach, Shedrach, and Abednego was throwing to. It's not more than the liar than that Dylan was throwing to. I'm talking to myself now. So thank God you are sorry anywhere you have given up, anywhere you have accused him, because of situation, John that came to preach about Christ was not asking a question. Go and ask him for me. Are you the Christ that you come? This is the person he, he, he was talking about. He, he went to take the way back. Because of condition now, he started asking un, unnecessary questions. Have you been in that case? Tell God you are sorry. Say, God, I am sorry. Anywhere I have done this. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, when I know you never, you have not God that is me that can be transferred to God. I'm asking God, are you sleeping? When I know God, you are, many of you are asking God, are you sleeping? God, have you asked to let God sleep? Because God knows that you are there. But we ask questions that is not necessary to be conditioned. God, are you asking? Quickly, I want you to pray and say, God, Father, now I am ready. I need the strength to hold on to my cross. You see what Job said now? He said, I will not allow my righteousness to go for me. I will hold on to who I am in the Lord. Say, God, Father, I want to hold on to you now. I want to hold on to holiness and righteousness. Give me the grace that I need, the power I need 
to never look back, to never be frustrated, to never drop my cross at any time, to never look at what is around me. Lord, the grace I need. Take it to God and He will do it for you and I this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, We are praying. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. You need to change. That is not you that the Bible, the Lord is talking to not to change. But the Lord wants your change from your evil way to a good way by surrendering your life to Him now. Confess your sin wherever you are and submit yourself to Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. There is no other way. Change from your evil way and surrender to Christ. After you have done this, please, if you need counseling or you need baptism, please, you can kindly call on the men of God on this mountain. And I know the Lord will use them to assist you of that domain to his own glory, you know, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. As we pray to you, Father, I thank you for the life of this one that are giving their life to you. I pray, Lord, you will uphold them as you have been doing for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as many of us are now weary and now weak in this way because of one thing or the other, have mercy and strengthen us, O God. Empower us, Daddy, that we will not give up. Help us to finish well, for by strength shall no man prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bring this message before you. Have I had that to your word also? Have mercy on me. Is there anyone that was angry because of the message? Forgive us all. We are all sorry for our sin. We do not know what we are doing. Pardon our iniquity and do not allow this message to stand against me and your children on the last day. Help us, Lord, I pray. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Amen.